Hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I just picked this up at Walmart like a week ago and I thought I would give you guys my input. So we're going to do a try on, a wear test, and just my thoughts about the foundation. So first I'm going to show you guys a little demo of me applying the foundation. Here we go. This is the primer I'm going to be using today. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. I've really been liking it lately and I've worn it previously with this foundation and really like it. It's kind of a thick primer. Um, but it doesn't feel like silicone. But it does feel like it kind of hydrates your skin and gives a good base. And I'm going in with the foundation. I mix um, mostly 201 with just a little bit of 202. And this is 201. I use about that much there. It's got kind of like a peachy color to it. It's a very liquidy foundation. Then I mix in just a little bit of the 202. About that much. And you can tell the difference between those. It's got more of like a beige color to it. And then I just mix it around with my finger. And I'll put some on. It doesn't dry super fast. I'm just using my Real Techniques sponge today. So I just finished putting on the rest of my makeup. I'm not wearing any powder on top of the actual foundation except for here and on my nose. Just because I know it gets a little oily. On my cheeks I did put a cream highlighter. Um, it's the Flower Beauty in the stick. And then I topped it up with a little bit of the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlighter. I always forget the name of that. Blush, Tart Exposed. Eyebrows are... Colourpop Pencil with Jordana um, Brow Gel on top. So I bought the shades 201 Classic Ivory and 202 Classic Neutral. I didn't know which shade I would be between those two. And then I went ahead and picked up 204 Natural Buff um, just to see if this would be a good fake tan shade. I went ahead and picked it up because I figured it would sell out and be really hard to pick up another one, so I went ahead and got it. On the back of the foundation it says, Lasting Glow Foundation, Never Dull, Never Greasy. Uh, radiant Finish, Up to 24 Hour Wear, Medium Coverage, Air Light Texture. Pro Tip, Shake Well, Dot on the Skin and Rolling Motion for Flawless Coverage. My thoughts on the foundation. It is amazing, absolutely amazing. I've worn it five times, um, including today. Today's number five. I've had no trouble from this. I am extremely, extremely picky when it comes to foundations. I don't want anything that looks like I'm wearing foundation. I don't want anything that sinks into my pores. I don't want anything that it gets on little pimples I might have and makes them look really dry. Um, I don't want anything that breaks down during the day. I don't want anything that makes me look greasy during the day. Just a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. I'm not super picky as it comes to I need high, high coverage. 
I don't need high coverage. Um, I like a good medium foundation. That's just my preference. So my skin type is really normal here and I get just so slightly oily right here on my forehead and occasionally on my nose. With it being summer, 90 plus degrees, I sweat a little bit more, but it is held up. I wore this yesterday for 12 hours at work and was super, super impressed. And I was just like, okay, I got to do a video on it just to tell everybody that it is amazing. I've only used this with a um, sponge. I've used it with my beauty blender and then I've used it with a real technique sponge. I haven't used it with a brush or my fingers. It's just not my favorite way of applying foundation. Um, but it may be different if you do use one of those. What I really, really like about the foundation is it looks flawless. As in, my skin doesn't look like it has foundation sitting on top of it. I'll do a close-up to show you, but it smooths over pores. It smooths over my nose, which is really, really tricky. My nose is very dry but oily. Uh, it's got like the flaky skin and just the texture of the skin foundation sits kind of funny on it. So I usually like <laughs> don't put foundation on it because it just looks weirder with it on. This is the biggest thing is it matches my skin. And I think because it's kind of a medium coverage that it can blend in a little bit better and not be a whole different color than me. Uh, it just is gorgeous. You can still see it blemishes through it when you get really up close, but they are, don't look dry and bad. So from the previous wear, I can agree with everything on here. It is a super light texture, as you can see from the clips of me trying it on. It's a very runny formula, and I really, really like that. I'm not much of a thick, moussey, creamy formula. When it dries, it dries down completely to like a skin-like finish. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel velvety or powdery or any of those. It just dries to a skin-like texture and it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your face. It hasn't broken me out. Like I said, I've worn it four days, complete days. Hasn't broken me out. Hasn't given me any trouble. Just highly, highly, highly impressed, and I love it. So now I'm just going to take you throughout my day. I'm going to work. Um, I talk a whole lot. I get hot and sweat a little bit at work. Um, and yeah, so we'll see. I'm not wearing glasses today. I normally wear my glasses at work. It's just I cut my nose on my sunglasses this week and my glasses sit right on top of it and it's very annoying and aggravating so. Uh, it is 11.54. Uh, I'll see you guys in a checkup. It is almost 10 o'clock. It is a little bit later than I expected to do an update but got busy at work so. Um, this is the foundation right now. It looks really good still. It's not greasy. I have sweated today. <laughs> yeah, it still looks really good. Good coverage. Hasn't worn off. It's not oily. I've had a mask on for a lot of the day. So I'll do another check-in either when I'm leaving work or when I get home. It is 1.52, almost 2 in the morning. I'm leaving work and thought I would give you a last update of the day. This is the foundation at the end of the night. I've had it on 14 hours. I'm ready to wash my face. My eyelashes are just like, ugh. The foundation still looks really good. Um, my chin has worn a little bit. I think that's for me rubbing it a lot. 
but other than that I think it looks pretty good still you can start seeing these two blemishes pop through but it's good um, and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one bye